What's going on, creators? Yeah, just want to get on here and uh, bring everybody back to now. <laughs> Appreciate y'all being here and uh, vibing with me for a bit. You know, today I'd like to talk a little bit more about, you know, making peace with what is. You know, instead of always resisting the present moment, really starting to, to really embrace it more and more. Not to say it needs to always be this way, you know, because a lot of times the old man, the old, you know, shit that we've been dealing with, a lot of suffering is associated with that. And it's easy to start to, you know, reminisce about the past or project into the future, you know, especially when the present moment almost feels uncomfortable, almost like there's a pressure or, you know, it's just uneasy feeling, you know, and, and really starting to look at these things that um, might be um, causing that unease and either letting go of them or just addressing them instead of just avoiding it. And more so just running our own race, you know, not focus on, oh, look what, you know, Sally's doing over there or across the street. Look, at, you know, she must be so happy. <laughs> you know, that kind of, uh, oh, they, they made it, so they must be so happy. You know, realize that, you know, everybody's dealing with their own shit. You know, there's some areas where we might be like a 9 or 10, you know, just doing really well. But then, you know, maybe our marriages are like a, a 1 or a 2, or maybe our, you know, finances are like a 9 or a 10, but, you know, our health is like a 2. You know, just just trying to get more and more balanced just in our own you know life, you know, is really important to um, you know move forward in instead of just constantly just being in this um, this rat race mentality. You know, embracing and fully embodying the um, the identity of you've already done it. You know, I was like kind of experiencing that a little bit today because like uh, with my handyman business, my wife she was out doing a job. I got it. Uh, Basically, uh, another guy he started today, and um, I was having him mow and do a bunch of work, and you know things were you know really clicking today, and you know at one point just realized it's like man, you know, this thing is actually you know this is working, you know it's like it's, you know four years into this, and you know I had been so like um. I don't know, like I got to do all these little roles, wear all the hats, and I've been really um working on trusting others more and like letting go of that control and you know seeing how that's starting to pay off more and more and like today is like you know at probably like one o'clock in the afternoon my wife was like you know what, what are you doing all day and it's like I don't know I guess nothing really I mean I feel like I you know you know I was doing quotes and stuff you know basically what I was doing is doing estimates and quotes you know and like um you know getting jobs you know because Still, you know, have, um, you know, where my old problem, you know, was not being able to find work, you know, or find helpers, you know, find uh, employees. Um, and then there's this big, oh, you know, everybody's hiring and there's this big drama and this big ordeal, this big story, you know, disregarding the evidence of the senses and just, you know, walking in the faith that, you know, God will send the, the people, you know, send the jobs, the customers, you know, I just need to, whatever happens in the present, whatever unfolds to just stand in faith and not fear and not just start to get reactive, you know, and start to spin out and um, start doing things out of scarcity and fear, which at this moment, you know, um, I got a big painting job. I'm getting ready to start quoting um, probably, mm, I don't know, probably $1,600, you know, it's a, you know, some, some drywall repair, some painting, bathroom, cabinets, and um, yeah, very, um, a lot of shit to move to uh, get this stuff painted. And so, you know, really, you know, unless I start to chicken out, which I might chicken out, you know, it's, it's still, you know, I'm still baby stepping this thing, but I'm just going for it regardless. And so right now I got one guy, you know, going to get, get him busy, get him doing work, get him doing jobs, getting him, um, turning profit basically and then um i got another guy directly in the hopper ready to rock and roll as soon as i give him the call to start working and so i'm trying to find um and and i don't even really need to be you know and and that's like part of like the old man mentality is like oh i gotta wrestle these things to the ground i gotta shake these things loose but you know part of this new yeah this new life is really trusting um in in um the spiritual end of things first and realizing that everything that's happening to make the change, you make the inner change first, you know, and so really, um, you know, it has to do with like identity is a big deal, um, assumptions and beliefs and things that start to present themselves over and over again, you know, and so, um, you know, looking at, um, you know, I don't know, you know, maybe, maybe, uh, whatever pops up as, you know, the resistance or the drama, 
not to get caught up in that and start reacting to it and starting to lose faith and think, oh, you know, this is all fucked and, you know, everything's going to, you know, then start spinning out. You know, really keeping a strong uh, mental attitude of this is going to work out and, um, you know, really going for it and going full steam ahead. You know, and it's already started to, play, you know, pan out with um, these three guys. You know, basically this three-guy crew has come together. I got a property that uh, might need flipped in a mm, month or so. I don't know. I got, I got a, a flooring job in a couple weeks. I got um, this painting job will be effective very soon. I got a checklist. I got a whole bunch of stuff in the hopper. I'd like to get you guys some numbers, uh, you know, some sales numbers, just so you can see. Just I find that to be interesting. You know, I like to see that on like Pawn Stars and like um, Storage Wars and stuff. You know, seeing the money coming in and then, you know the profit and how you flip it and stuff like that. I think that's useful, especially you know if um, you know anybody's listening that might have some. Um, some programming when it comes to money, you know, or scarcity mindset, or, um, you know, holding on to like um, an idea of like feeling limited. And, you know, sometimes it's easier to, if you, you got gotten to, you know, experience somebody else's perspective and see, um, no, oh, you know, that they are okay and, you know, God's providing that to them. You know, God will provide that to you too. So it's like, you know, we're not, you know, somebody on a pedestal or anything that's superior. But, you know, there's just different, everybody's in a different space in their walk. And so I like to actually see, like, people that are, like, um, levels higher, you know, as far as, like, um, you know, just obvious skill level. I mean, it's like, um, you know, it's, it's re- ridiculous to be like, oh, nobody's, like, good at anything. That's no one. No one's better at, at this than anybody else. And like participation award and shit, <laughs> you know. But it's like it's obvious, you know. If somebody's like a really good guitar player, you know, that, that's like way up here, you know, on skill level. It's like instead of comparing yourself and feeling like, oh, you know, I, you know, I suck compared to this, you know, see see what they've been able to do. Realize that you can get to a similar spot, and not to try to bite on anybody's style or anything, but you know, just to expand the limits of what's possible. You know, that's that's the real vision. Is you know, if somebody else can do this, so can you. Maybe differently, maybe not exactly the same, because we're all unique in how everybody's bridges of incidents played out differently and continuously play out differently. You know, for, for the, those in like the materialist mindset they'll point at the bridge of incidents and say oh it's inevitable and that this is how it manifested without knowing the uh, the spiritual consciousness you know mindset um, activity that inner talk that that ability you know and, that, and that's one of the things like um, you know in playing guitar playing an instrument you know that you've maybe dedicated decades doing you know being able to stay in flow really there's there's very little mental activity and this is when that mental activity starts to kick in where you start to make mistakes or you break your flow and you know you almost are you you almost i don't know you, you realize you're the one playing it but you're you're it's not a i don't know how to describe that feeling of being able to maybe record something and it, it being like um uh studio quality recording you know especially maybe like doing a solo or something like that or just playing in front of others and and, and then that whole type of um, environment. It, it's, um, yeah, it is a different vibe than which maybe some people think. But, you know, being able to translate from the inside, that inner vision of like that inner sound that you want to produce, a big part of that is like the journey. You know, it's like you, you get better and better at matching what you have in your mind to what you produce in reality and manifesting you know to me is you know very similar where it's like you have a vision of what you um would like to bring forward and like to do and then through your faith you realize that god's already given that to you and you just have to be still and and when when opportunity knocks, when you get the phone call to take action and go for it, and not to be scared, and and not to lose faith if the opposite's presenting, you know. So like for me, looking for some help, and I stacked all those jobs, and it's like, oh shit, nobody's around. Everybody's hiring. There's a big labor shortage, and oh, I just heard so much of it. I still hear it, you know. But like um, not letting that be a discouraging thing of like, oh shit, not this is just not the right time to do it then, and then you know, go bury my head in the sand and start crying and, (laughs) you know, feeling like a victim, you know, holding strong that it is going to come together. And it's, it's in that, you know, it's like right now, it's that same feeling. It's a different situation though, where it's like, okay, well, I got three guys in the hopper 
now now the uh, now the courage moment is like, do I keep going or do I say, hey, I got one guy now and you know let the other two just kind of put out on the back burner. And so that's kind of these decisions. And so I'm, I'm still on the fence about it. You know, I'd like just to go for it without chickening out because I know it'll play out and it'll play out perfectly if, you know, you don't, you know, get chicken out and be like, yeah, sorry, I'm going to have to, you know, check back another time, <laughs> you know, and just go for it. And, and so, yeah, that's kind of like what's been going on in my, uh, you know, space for a while is, you know, I got caught up on the jobs and now now it's really going full throttle and expansion and uh, really taking this business to the next level and, um, you know, ultimately realizing, you know, that, that, that God's already done it. You know, it's like, I just need to steward what comes in. You know, if I get calls, if I get customers, if I get jobs, making sure to infuse love in that and not to encourage fear in my customers or my employees or anybody else. And to um, make sure that, um, you know, the guys that, uh, the guys that are working are able to, um, you know, basically um, not just try to just slap shit together, you know, just take take a little bit of time to put themselves into what they're doing and enjoy it, you know, help, you know, help them stay in flow and everything else. And so, um, yeah, I wanted to, to bring that to you guys. And then also, you know, looking at everything that's happening, you know, when I first started today, you know, guy was mowing my yard. He says that's how we started the day, mowing my yard and, you know, taking care of my shit around my house. And like, um, yeah, then the mower broke. <laughs> yeah, and so it's like you kind of look at that as like, oh, what does that what does that mean? It meant, meant nothing to me, you know, because you know he was able to mow up probably twice as fast as I could, and then you know he was able to do the jobs way faster because he's a lot younger and like had that eureka moment of like, it's a good thing to let others, you know, you know, in on this and, and to um, you know, focus on what I'm good at, and a lot of that is has to do with like talking with people and um. Yeah, trying, you know, getting things kind of set up and, and stuff like that. And not so much, you know, bending over and you know, standing up and everything. <laughs> that kind of vibe. But, like, um, you know, I just wanted to continue to kind of give those updates and, and share that with you guys. Uh, what I'm kind of, like, working on creating in my space, in my town, in my community. So that you guys can, you know, see that you can do that, too. I mean, this is an option for you. And, um, yeah, I mean, I don't know if that's my dog banging on the door. You know, but, like you know, faith comes by hearing. So I definitely want to share that with you guys. And also to keep, um, you know, reminding you to um, really hold that you've made it moment now. I mean, um, you know, the, because like, unless you, you know, and this is coming from a person who like childhood dream is like to pure, like do music. And as someone who's like went for it, did it, achieved that, continue to like move down these different milestones and different things, you know, it, it's it's not what you do that makes you happy. <laughs> you know, what your body's doing, you know, it's so much different than what you think, you know, because like um you th- thinking, oh, I'm gonna start a business or I'm gonna you know follow my dreams, and then next thing you know, um the, the people that you thought were your friends are now talking shit. And now it's like people like um are stepping on like your dreams and like reacting totally off the wall at times and it's like wow i wasn't expecting this kind of reaction you know and like um yeah it's, it's, so it, to me it's been rare you know to, to hear anybody kind of encouraging <laughs> like yeah go for things and do it and and so definitely want to be at least one person out here in the 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 void uh that's doing that and then encouraging you to um to follow that yourself and whatever that might be i mean um you know everybody's got a different desire and um you know just letting you know that whatever your desire is it doesn't matter you can achieve it you can do it you know just um start moving towards it you know start um so many times it's like uh, we, we get caught in the mind and all the what ifs and waiting for that perfect moment to do things now is the moment to do things that's the only time to do anything and and like a lot of it is just if if you're just in um if you're spinning out if you're just uh drain your energy is just draining um the most important thing to do is figure that out first you know before you do anything um you know more complexity to your life more shit to shuffle around more things to do more more things you know that um you, you, your tensions on it just adds more complexity you know and it's just like amplifies your your state as it is you know so if you if you what you got now you know take a big look at it you know and 
if you're already anxious, if you're already you know filled with just fears and worries and oh what if I lose it and what if I don't get it and all these what ifs and all this kind of shit and it's like you know more things you know even more money and it's as hard as it is to hear this you know more money will just amplify a fear of loss if you're if you're not able to keep your mind right about it if you care too much about it you know it starts to spin out you know so it's like you have two opposite problems where it's like scarcity but scarcity is even too much you know it's it's weird but you know it's like if you don't have enough then you're, you're just you know you know, it sucks, but then if you have a lot, then all of a sudden it's like, well, what if I lose it? What if what the bank seizes my assets? Or what if, what if you know, this and, and then, then it's the, all these weird scenarios of like how you can lose it. Even even now, you know, that, that kind of plays out a little bit with me with like uh, with like hiring these these guys to get these these jobs done. You know, ideally, you know, it's like, um, you know, being able to pay them and then make a profit on the job, you know, and so, um, you know, there's fears of like, oh, well, what if you, what if you lose money, and then you got, you owe all these guys all this money, and you know, all these kind of weird fears and, and stuff like that, and then it's just like, you know, it, until you start to recognize that pattern of like, oh, it's just, it's just the drama, it's just the old man, it's just the old uh, resistances that are emerging. You know, what I actually want's on the other side of that anyway, and um, you know, just take what comes, what unfolds in the present moment as the thing to work on. You know, ultimately. Um, having peace be your goal <laughs> you know it's like um yeah you know, because as you become more at peace on the inside then the reflection that you know that you start experiencing is is more in harmony and more peaceful you know it's like you know if your house is a mess you know it's like and your mind's a mess you know it's like if you start cleaning up your house you now there, there's a psychological uh thing that starts to happen it's like you start clearing the clutter out of your own mind as you're doing that because there's very symbolic it's a symbolic relationship between the the spiritual which is your inner state of consciousness and the in the outer which is just the shadow of of your inner in your your inner world basically you know and you know everything is is uh, symbolically related to that and so you know any of these patterns any of these types of i don't know themes archetypes these things that are limits you know your your joy, you know, these stumbling blocks, these things that just come up and just like, what the fuck? Why does this keep happening? You know, why do I got to, you know, fill in the blank? Those things, you know, these are the things that um, we're unconsciously doing, you know, and, and by it being brought to your awareness, you know, then all of a sudden we can start to either let it go or just become consciously aware of it so it's not unconsciously running our day to day. You know, and, and once you'd make that connection, then, then things can start to change for the better. You know, n not to sit there and say the present moment is, um, you know, the present moment is the only thing that's real, you know, physically, re you know, it's like, you know, the future imaginings and stuff like that it hasn't happened. And the, and the, uh, the past is, is a lot of times just coming back to meet us in the present moment. It doesn't just fade away to oblivion in linear time like um kind of like the materialist paradigm of reality would have you to believe but it's more quantum where you know it cycles back cyclically and until you start to you know catch these unconscious patterns that keep cyclically happening you know it'll come back it'll come back it'll come back but as you level up let it go out of consciousness and plant a new seed then new will start unfolding in the present and, and things will become better and better and better you know, and so getting to the journey and the destination, becoming more and more one, you know, getting more and more um, happy, you know, and, and maybe that's even a trigger, but just peaceful, joyful, better energy, you know, in the present. Not to say that you know, <sighs> draining situations don't happen, you know, but it's it's becoming more and more conscious and mindful of how our unconscious beliefs and assumptions and. Um, well, how we think about reality and how we think of others, you know, how that keeps running our lives, you know, get, taking more ownership, taking more ownership and, you know, doing better and better, but not to sit there and, and, and think that you're a broken toy either, you know, you know, really start to accept yourself, love yourself and, and start to move in a, a direction where you're not sitting there. Um, talking shit to yourself 24 7 you know start to be more loving and caring towards yourself um, 
you know, you'd be amazed, you know, kind of the interactions, how those start to start to mirror that inner talk. Um, but yeah, you know, embody that state though, you know, that, that new man, that new woman, you know, that, that ideal is, you know, if you, if only I won the lottery, then I could be this person, be that person now, you know, it's, it does, you know, the, the, the shadow, the, the, uh, the external will start to, to, um, you know, uh, miraculously, you know, I guess you know, miraculously start to mirror these interchanges, and you learn this by doing, by uh, testing it yourself. You'll see what I'm saying is true. Uh, don't just take anybody's word for it. This is you know stuff that you learn through um, actual knowledge, which is your experience um, of it. You know, and so it's like it's not, it's unshakable. It's like faith had you know faith and then knowledge. You know, kind of go hand in hand. You know, but like um. You know, faith is you know taking that first step into the unknown, into the um, the spiritual. But then the knowledge is through the repetition of these patterns, these doing it over and over and over again. You know, start to see it more, and it's like you get to a knowing that has zero doubt. You know, and so that you know ultimately that that's where faith kind of starts to lead to is just not having doubt about how this uh, you know about how things work. You know, it's like oh, this is just laws of consciousness this is just how it is and and um you know once you know that then um you know, the, you know things become more and more um oneness more and more connected more and more uh unity and and more and more um loving situations you know seeing a lot more love in in um in your world and in your bubble of reality and your perspective and so yeah i just want to share that with you guys and other than that i think i'm going to bounce you know so thanks again for listening uh liking sharing subscribing all the social networking things and um yeah until the next now uh have a good rest of your yeah now and god bless